Welcome back. You want some good news? I've got some good news for you. This good news comes from Cole Gray, Pixels Inc. He has a YouTube channel, make sure you check him out. He is a graphic designer and brand strategist. I think I've got that right, Cole. Um, Cole contacted me with a story about a young gentleman who's 21 years old. His name's John Quinn. He has an Instagram account under the name of Jaden, J-A-D-I-A-N-T. He's sadly a Burns victim, but that has not stopped him. And this guy, I had a bit of a, I had a bit of a snoop. I look, I went through his uh, Instagram account. He's inspirational. Let's put it that way. Some people, this this can this can drag them down, but not, not this guy. Oh no, he even has a fan page on Instagram. He's getting like 3,000, 4,000 likes on all of his videos. He dressed up as uh, Deadpool. I don't know if you've ever seen that film. To be honest, I hadn't even. I wasn't quite sure what the link was. But Deadpool, underneath his mask, he has a disfiguration. And uh, Johnny can really relate to this. And he loves cosplay. Now, he reached out, like a lot of people do, to a celebrity, Ryan Reynolds. And it caught Ryan Reynolds' attention. And it just made Johnny's day. Yeah. Look on the screen, I've put, uh, put some screenshots on there for you. If you actually have a look at his Instagram account, it'll put a smile on your face. He is, he is inspirational. So if you ever get to see this, Johnny, I really admire you for you know, what you're doing. So although you look up to Ryan Reynolds, other people are actually looking up to you because you've got your own fan page. You've got people obsessed with you. you know, they absolutely love you, they adore you, and they look up to you. So that is amazing. So. Keep going, Johnny. Also, I want to give another shout out to Helen Bradley. Um, she's a hypnotherapist. She contacted me. She said after hundreds of years of waiting, um, because in the original plan for the War Memorial Gardens was uh, the design to actually create a bridge for pedestrians and cyclists over the River Lyfe, Lyfe, um, forgive me if I'm getting that wrong, L-I-F-F-E-Y. So yeah, that, that's good. I, I'm obviously not a resident of Dublin. They've been waiting for it for a long time, it seems. So that's the good news from Dublin. So yeah, I can't wait to see that really. I've been to Dublin, lovely place. Um, keen cyclist, keen pedestrian. So can't wait to try it out. In California, uh, the first one mile stretch of road has been created purely out of single use plastic bottles, 150,000 of them to be precise. It's quite a few plastic bottles. This, this is new in America at least. India and the Netherlands have apparently been doing it for quite a few years, as far back as 2014 if my memory serves me correctly. This yeah, is certainly I think the way for the future. The company that did it in California they reported that actually it was 90 percent saving on greenhouse emissions so 90 percent that's a lot isn't it and the world is going that way uh, we're becoming a lot more environmentally friendly i can see that being a big part of our future not all of the roads you know some of our roads go back from when the romans built them here in the uk at least but yeah i don't know a couple hundred years and we'll be driving on plastic bottles <laughs> Hopefully you've liked uh, some of these good news stories that I've brought to you today. So please like the video. Please also put in the comments below, do you have any good news that you want to share with the channel? Is this the sort of content that you actually want me to be covering? Is there any specific things that you want me to cover next week? I'd love to hear from you. So see you next week.